Direct News TV December 28, 2023 Leader of Sudan's RSF visits Ethiopia in rare foreign trip as war rages. The leader of Sudan's paramilitary rapid support forces, RSF, General Mohamed Hamdan Dagalo, has visited neighboring Ethiopia, where he has had discussions on the end of the war between the RSF and Sudan's army. Dagalo, known as Himeti, landed in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, on Thursday in the second stop of his first known public foreign trip since the war erupted on April 15. The trip comes weeks after RSF fighters captured the country's second-largest city, Wad Madani, once a hub for hundreds of thousands of people displaced by the eight-month war. Thursday's meeting was preceded by Himeti's meeting with Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni at Museveni's country home on Wednesday. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said he had received the RSF leader and his delegation for a discussion on securing peace and stability in Sudan, posting pictures of them seated around a restaurant table. Himeti was received by Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Demik Mekonen at the airport in Addis Ababa. We discussed the need to bring a swift end to this war, the historical crisis in Sudan and how to best alleviate the hardships of the Sudanese people, Himeti wrote. U.S. and Saudi brokered talks have failed to end the conflict, which has killed more than 12,000 people and forced more than 7 million people to flee their homes. Last month, Human Rights Watch accused the RSF of carrying out mass ethnic killings in Darfur. UAE, a key ally, posts by Himeti and Ethiopia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs showed him exiting an aircraft belonging to Royal Jet, a United Arab Emirates airline, that flight records show had flown from Abu Dhabi to Uganda's Entebbe airport on Wednesday morning. The UAE has been Himeti's most important foreign ally since before the current conflict. In November, a Sudanese general accused the UAE of backing the RSF and funneling supplies through countries that included Uganda. The UAE responded by saying it supported diplomatic dialogue in Sudan and the conflict's end while Uganda said the accusations were false. Himeti is next expected to visit Kenya, a source close to the RSF told the agents France Presa News Agency. Al Jazeera could not confirm the plan stop through official sources. After having visited Uganda and Ethiopia, Himeti will go to Nairobi in order to try to rally the member states of IGAD to his cause before going to Djibouti to meet General Al-Burhan, the source was quoted as saying, referring to Abdel Fattah Al-Burhan the leader of Sudan's armed forces. IGAD, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, is a bloc representing eight East African countries. It has been trying to bring Al-Burhan and Himeti together since the outset of the war. Both sides in Sudan's war have been accused of war crimes. My name is Kingsley. Please like, Share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post, you won't regret it.